Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Mahashem Yahweh Shai, Mahashem Rachakodash. And also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to roll very well to this very day. That is uh, continually feeding the flock through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And also, as well, uh, Shalom to the whole elect who is uh, continually laboring his work and also continue to labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. All right, it's going to be an impromptu video. Um, I believe I'm going to entitle this video as Hope Deferred, okay? Because, you know, as it stands today, you know, we're still, you know, um, in the process of transitioning or we're, we're still in, we're still witnessing the transition of of powers from one people to another okay and you know we're witnessing the the transition of power from Esau Edom which is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man and that power is being transferred over to the so-called Negroes and Spans and Native Americans which are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible all right in the coin of prophecy okay and also as well you know as times the times continue you know we continually see you know um just complete gross and utter darkness covering the planet earth all right and you know as time continues you know it, it's just like um it, it's like rust you know and when, when with rust, you know, you can't, you can't cure that, you know, once rust settled in, you know, it only gets worse. Okay. And that's indicative to Babylon the Great. All right. Because Babylon, which, which is uh, America. All right. In the scriptures, um, this place is waxing worse and worse. You know, that, that this rust that has uh, settled here on the planet Earth, you know, is getting worse. Okay. It's like a disease, you know, and that's why the Lord also compared this time as something that's uh, cancerous, okay? Because that's why uh, the, our Lord, who these people interviewed called Jesus, in which his true name is Yahweh Shai, you know, he's known as the physician, okay? And that physician, all right, is prepared to uh, to destroy this disease, okay? And you already know, we go into the word disease, you know, it, it's a compound word, which means uh, dis-ease, all right? Which means uh, the body is not at ease, all right? So likewise with the earth, you know, the earth is not at ease, you know, because the, this disease has uh, spread throughout the planet Earth. All right. And the earth is is languishing because of that. All right. And it's only going to take the physician. All right. The 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 the, the true physician. All right. To to come and to cure this disease that's on the planet Earth. All right. And that disease, which I'm mentioning, is Esau Edom. OK, because by way of his rulership, you know, you, you see things happening the way they are. Everything that's, that's going on here in Babylon, the great. All right. All, everything goes back to Esau Edom. All right. That's really the, the, the main answer to the question. You know, why are these things happening? Well, you got to look at the track record. Look at where the roads are leading towards. It's leading towards Esau. OK. But uh, not to get too far off topic, you know, like I said, you know, uh, hope, you know, it's being deferred, man. All right. The reason why it's being deferred is because, you know, as, as time continues, you know, this place gets worse and worse. All right. And it may appear that, you know, it's never going to end, you know, but like everything that's on the planet Earth, it has an expiration. OK, so it's only a matter of time before America reaches its expiration. OK. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the precepts real quick. I uh, only got uh, a few of them. Not going to make this too long. Uh, this is the uh, book of uh, 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 8. Okay. It says, For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing makes his righteous soul. All right. Now it's talking about Lot. Okay. Because it says here that Lot, you know, dwelt among these, uh, you know, these, these uh, wicked people. All right, that was uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighboring cities. All right, he was seeing and he was hearing these things, man. Okay, now you have to put yourself in in that uh, in that time. 
all right where when lot was in sodom and gomorrah imagine all everything that lot was seeing during that time okay what he was seeing and what he was hearing when he was overhearing the conversations of, of, of you know those uh, psych psychopaths in sodom and gomorrah all right and i don't know what other words to, other words to, to, to call them man you know and that's that's basically what they were the reason why i say that is because you know america is going in the same direction as sodom and gomorrah okay and those same psychopaths you know those, those sickos in the, in the neighbor in the cities of sodom and gomorrah guess what that those same spirits are back today okay and i can guarantee you that they're spearheading this uh uh, homosexuality, you know, uh, freakism. All right, those same individuals about today. So, again, it's like it says here, seeing and hearing. All right, begs this righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, man. Okay, and it is a it's a vexation towards towards our spirits, man. Okay, because we're we're looking towards everything to, uh, everything here in Babylon the Great the end. Okay, because the 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 end of this place equals or it means that the rest for us okay because why are we here in babylon the great there is no rest all right and you know the reason why i'm bringing this piece up out and i'm, and I'm hitting the point concerning uh um, vexation of spirit is because you know we're we're in those times to where you know now we're in a time to where we're not supposed to be getting weak in the spirit man because we're we're at the finish line right now all right and um you know, this is more than enough, you know, on top of, you know, the scriptures itself, you know, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, but this is more than enough, you know, um, this, is, this is a more of enough logical reason to put your hands on the plow, you know, put, uh, take hold of this, okay? Because it's going to get to a point in time where the videos like these, you know, being able to go into the blue letter, uh, you know, looking up certain words, you know, putting out certain lessons, you know, live shows, going on the highways and byways, that, that's going to have a cutoff point at some, at, at some point, okay? Because Yahweh Bashim Yal Shai is about ready to, to, to just stop speaking, all right, and just uh, go ahead and spring into action, all right, and follow through on the words of the prophets, okay? Which, of course, the words of the prophets come directly out of the book, okay? So, like it says here, uh, it makes his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds. All right, and it says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Right. So, the Lord is is a, is, is the master, all right, the, the master architect when it comes to delivering the godly out of temptations, man. All right, time and time again, he did it with the men of old, and time and time again, he's done it with the men of the Lord that you see today. Started with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down. Okay, and also it says here to reserve the unjust to the day of judgment. Okay, so the Lord has reserved the unjust until the day of judgment, man. All right, so like, uh, like, uh, in, in the Psalms, right, King David, all right, he says he was, uh, um, he was envious of the wicked when he saw the prosperity. All right, he was, uh, he was envious of the foolish when he saw the prosperity of the wicked. Okay. But on the other hand, the script the scriptures say, fret not thyself of evil because of evildoers. Okay? And the reason why you don't you shouldn't fret yourself over evildoers is because you know they're in. You know what's gonna happen to them. Alright, we know what's gonna happen to them. Alright, we know what's gonna happen to Esau Edom. Alright, so when we see them, you know, do certain things that, that try to, you know, uh, knock us off our, our square or uh, you know, uh, knock us out of the spirit, you know, hey, Esau's being Esau, man. It's how the other nations, they, 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 the nations are being who they are, okay? So, likewise with uh, Esau Edom, hey, you know, he's going right into captivity, man, all right? The, this, uh, this, this lofty position that he has right now, yeah, he's going to be taken away, all right? Why? Because, again, like I said, we're in a, in a transition, okay? Um... It's like you. Um, yeah, that's it on that. Um, and I'm gonna grab this next precept, um, Ecclesiastes, and uh, that's Ecclesiasticus. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse um, 
verse 11. It says, because sins against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right. And that's that's the point. OK, sins against the evil work is not executed speedily. So you, you see the day, man, you know, they'll they'll do they'll do uh, all manners of, of wickedness. All right. And, and practice whatever it is is in their heart to do. And it seems like, you know, the Lord's not getting them, man. All right. But um, like it says here, it says, therefore, the hearts of the sons of men are fully set in them to do evil. All right. And that's true. OK. You know, since nothing's happened to them, you know, they're they're more than likely to push the envelope. You know, how far can we go until the most high intervenes, you know, until something happens? OK. And that's the, the, the point that where these people are today. They're, they're seeing how far they can take take uh, wickedness. All right. And uh, push the envelope, you know, just for the sake of fulfilling their own lusts. All right. And that's what it really goes back to, man. All right. And we always go into it. You know, every every person that's that's here on the planet Earth is driven by their lust. OK. And wherever their lust is towards, that's where they're going to fall by. All right. You know, certain things that, they, that these people get into that uh, have devoted their soul and spirit, sweat, blood and tears into. Guess what? They're going to they're going to get caught up in that. OK. You're going to be given over to their own pleasures. And they're going to be destroyed by it. OK. Uh, verse. Uh, verse 12, it says, though a sinner do evil a 100 times and his days be prolonged. Right. And, and that's what you're seeing. Right. You know, the wicked. I mean, look at the Rothschild. Look at the Rockefeller. Look at the banking families. Look at look these, these old Edomites that, that are that are in high positions. All right. You know, they're they, they've done evil more than 100 times, man. All right. They've done it a million times, but yet their days are prolonged. All right. But there's a reason. OK, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. It says, yes, yeah, surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. OK, so even though it looks like it seems that way, but yet the, the Lord has the Lord got us, man. All right. It's going to be well with us that fear you. How about Shemuel Shai? All right. But verse 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow. Because he fears not before the most high. All right. So it's not going to go well with the wicked. All right. No matter how you splice it. All right. And he's not going to be able to prolong his days. All right. Because again, like I said, everything has an expiration. Okay. So Esau Edom is reaching his expiration. Babylon the Great is reaching his expiration. The time of wickedness is reaching an end. Okay. Uh, and it says like, his, like it says here, it says, which are as a shadow. All right. And the shadow is not there for, for long enough. All right. That's why the scriptures say that this man only has a little season to rule. All right. When they go, when the scriptures go into the dragon in our revelations, where it speaks about the little season that was loose. Guess what? We're in that little season. OK. And this man only has a short time for him to do what he's got to do. So that's why now you see him, you know, still. Still on the C-19, you know, with these different variants, man, because he's going to ride this all the way into the point to where you know, he's just going to uh, mandate the MOTB, okay? Which is uh, spoken about in the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, okay? So like it says here, once again, it says, uh, the, life, the life of the wicked is like as a shadow because he feared not before the Most High, right? And, you know, the Most High, you know, he's not a passive power that's in the heavens just looking down and letting all these things happen just because, all right? No, he, he's allowing these devils to do what they got to do for a prolonged amount of time so that the judgment can fit uh, um, the crime, all right? Because the crime, the crime that these, these devils have committed, it fits the punishment, all right? Revelation chapter 13, verse, verse uh, 9 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, all right? And he that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. So, the, again, the judgment fits the, uh, the, the punishment fits the crime, okay? So... <clears throat> You know, from uh, from this time today, you know, we we're witnessing these devils are, are, are beginning to fall. All right. And you, we know that because it, it starts with their their power. OK. And their power is dwindling right now. So that's why we know that um, this man is nearing his end. But. um. Uh, last precept. This is what I got the title based on. 
Uh, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. It says, uh, hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life, right? So our hope is being deferred and is making our heart sick, man. That when you remind you the word heart means lob in the Hebrew, which means your mind, okay? Because you start to get, you know, certain thoughts in your head, you know, uh, about, um, you know, how long, you know, how long this devil is going to continue to rule. But like it says here, but when the desire cometh, right? So when it comes, it is a tree of life. All right. So, and that's what it, that's how it is, man. It's, it's as a tree of life. You know, it, it brings forth life. Okay. And also uh, has you, you know, it, it leads you in the, in, the, in the right direction concerning his work. Okay. To, to keep going, to keep fighting. All right. To keep fighting the good fight of faith. All right. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note. You know, Lord's will is a boost to your spirit. You know, Lord's will is uh, edifying to your, you know, your spirit as well. Lord's will, you were fed to the full. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. So once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yom Shai, Ba'ashim Chakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule to this day. And also Shalom. Peace and safety. Citations to the whole elect. So I continue to labor in this work. And also labor to show forth your diligence to make your calling and election sure. And faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.